Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology speaking, can you tell me what are the differential diagnoses that you'll consider after reading this then? Um, Ma'am, it can be any <clears throat> infective or inflammation disease of the heart, such as uh, rheumatic heart disease or infective endocarditis. Okay. What are the, what is the cardinal symptom here that uh, points you to think that it is infective endocarditis? Ma'am, shortness of breath. No uh, fever. Along with fever. Fever, fever, fever. Okay, can you tell me what is the criteria for the fever. diagnosis of uh, infective endocarditis? Any criteria? It is a uh, Duke's criteria. Very good. Can it, you? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's called uh, Duke's Duke's criteria. It consists of uh, any two major criteria or any one minor or uh, oh, sorry, one major and three minor criteria. Or the five major minor. criteria yes. must include uh, a positive blood culture for endocarditis. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Tell me more. Should I elaborate? Yes, please. Yes, please. Two blood a major cultures. Criteria, yes. Uh, yes. A pos positive for endocarditis. And uh, also there should be an evidence of endocardial involvement. Uh, for instance, um, echocardiogram positive or any abscess or any... Uh, no. No, volvular regurgitation. No, these two samples should be taken twelve okay. hours apart, or they'll be they should be three separate blood okay. cultures at least drawn one hour apart. This is the whole uh, major blood culture criteria that you should tell me. Okay, uh, can you tell me what are the types of uh, in infective endocarditis you know of? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, the other type is non-bacterial thrombotic uh, endocarditis. And uh, there's another one called uh, um, uh, Libman uh, Sachs endocarditis. Yes. What is the different between, uh, difference between these two? Or the third one, infective endocarditis? Ma'am, the, uh, the uh, Libman Sachs occurs in uh, cancers. Uh, the patient must be suffering from any malignancy. And... Uh, 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 no. Okay. Can you define infective endocarditis? Can you define the term infective endocarditis? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it is the uh, it is the inflammation of the endocardial surfaces of the heart, including okay. the heart walls. All right. Can you please tell me if you'll do the echo on a patient whom you suspect to have uh, infective endocarditis? What would you see? What would be the echocardiographic Yes, ma'am, I do a 2D echo. I will look for uh, any valvular regurgitation. Uh, I will look for any valvular regurgitation, any uh, pericardial effusion, any uh, leaflet prolapses, or any ventricular uh, dilatation and uh, dysfunction. Okay, can you please tell me uh, what are the signs that you look for on the hand of the patient? Uh, Ma'am, uh, on the hand, uh, I, I will look for Osler nodes. Uh, these are what painful are these? Uh, yes. red raised lesions. Where would they painful, be present? Uh, raised red lesions. Where on uh, the on hand? The, uh, on the interpharyngeal joints, ma'am. Okay. And what else? Uh, there they would be any splinter hemorrhages uh, beneath the nails and also Janeway lesions. Okay, can you please tell me what are the risk factors which are associated with infective endocarditis? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, um, it can be any uh, valve replacement surgery done, uh, any uh, uh, hypertrophic uh, obstructive cardiomyopathy uh, previously in the patient, any uh, congenital heart diseases, for example, uh, uh, ventricular septal defect or ASD, and any um, other if you, source of infection for if you instance, don't uh, get rheumatic to, heart disease. Yes, if you don't get to manage this patient on time, what are the complications that can occur? Ma'am, the, the patient can go into a cardiac attack. Uh, he can have an inflammation of the whole heart. Uh, for instance, uh, he can have pericarditis. Uh, he can have any... Uh, 
arrhythmias and uh, non cardiac he would have any cerebral vascular accident stroke he can also have any uh, uh, mesenteric infarction all right or any Then, uh, he can uh, also damage his kidneys what are the Renal, management uh, options that can be offered to the patient then for the management uh, ma'am uh, we could start with the if the uh, there is uh, if there is positive blood culture then i would like to start with uh, giving the antibiotics according to the hospital trucks uh, policy and guidelines okay anything else what are the restrictions uh, regarding the management of infective endo endocarditis and the restrictions of antibiotics is that they don't specifically reach the uh, uh, valves of yes. the heart that Why? are involved yes. because ma'am they don't have uh, any blood uh, supply profuse blood supply yes then how would you manage the yes bacteria or the organism you have to explain that okay uh, ma'am i will consider for any uh, valvular replacement uh that is the last resort yes okay can you please tell me once you are monitoring the patient you are giving medications you are managing what are the tests blood tests that you'll in particularly do as part of your monitoring process ma'am apart from the normal uh, blood test i would also look for any uh, esr and uh, raised uh, CRP. ESR level and C reactive protein. Okay, uh, what, uh, which organisms are most commonly involved in the process of infective endocarditis? Um, it is usually caused by viridian streptococci or uh, coagulase negative Staphylococcus aureus. How is This it is different? Good... If it is native valve or if it is uh, prosthetic valve, how the organisms different? Ma'am, in uh, prosthetic valves, uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis is common. Yes. Not sure. And, And in native valve, um, uh, coagulase negative uh, Staph aureus is common. Okay. Uh, if you will go, if you want to do a valve replacement as a last resort to help the patient, how would you do that? What would you consider? Ma'am, ma there the are patient. many uh, um, types of valves that can be used. For instance, mechanical valve, any uh, tissue valve. Yes. How uh, will you make the decision for the patient? Uh, the patient is young lady. How would you decide what to do? Which valve or what management to offer? What happens, ma'am? Uh, if if the patient is young, I would uh, uh, I would opt for a mechanical valve. because it has a uh, good durability and uh, yes. lower end of uh, reoperation but uh, what else would you consider like the patient's age patient's occupation a mem bleeding risk and uh, also uh, is she on any blood thinners or not uh, yes. does she need to take it further yes and maybe patient's uh, health as well because if she, uh, she it's a woman she can be even pregnant you know so you have to decide you have to think of many things before you decide if you'll go for the surgery or you'll wait and if you'll wait for how long because then i yes, can you tell me the grades how would you do, how would you determine what is the, sorry uh, what grades yes the grades how would you determine because patient is having shortness of breath how would you determine which grade is uh, patient has I'm sorry, I I don't know. Yes, this. you have to read this more. You know, there were little. Yes, ma'am. That is one thing. Yes, once you'll read next time, so hopefully it will be better. Definitely. There is your question.